Okay, so we're going to make a milling tool, and this tool is created by a company called Parlec. And if you wanted to follow along really quick, you can go to the uh, Parlec website, come here to the upper right, Drawing Downloads. Uh, I'm doing a Cat 40 and an ER style collet, so you can pick those two fields. And once it filters, you can grab your step files from the column here. So any of them, I, you know, I, I don't, didn't download them all, but I'm sure they're going to look very similar to what we see on the screen. So this is how it comes into Esprit. So uh, we can see that uh, Parlec did a nice job of creating the solids. They actually have the nice coloring and everything. So that's all done for us. So the first thing that we want to do is just make sure that the location and the orientation of the holder are where they need to be. So when this appears inside of our simulation, we want this to appear in the correct location. And basically at the end of the taper, if we look at this, at the end of the taper, we see that the center point, the XYZ zero is located at this location. So this looks like it's in the correct location already. But uh, what I see here is that we want the tool holder to be pointing up and down so that the tool holder goes up into the Z axis. So the Z axis is pointing up into the spindle. And currently it's along the X axis. So we actually need to rotate this tool assembly by 90 degrees about the Y axis here. So to do that, uh, we can hit Control A on our keyboard to group everything, or we can right click and say select all. Those two things do the same thing. It's gonna grab all of the elements that you have on the screen, and then I'm gonna right click again, and I'm gonna select copy. And when I do that, I get my dialog box here. I'm going to go ahead and select Rotate and Move. And we're going to put in a positive 90 degrees here. We do not want to use the origin. We're going to say, OK, I'm going to pick my Y axis. And we see the holder is now oriented around the Z axis. So I'm going to hit F4 on my keyboard which gives us the ZX view here. And we see that the zero location is retained. We're still at the bottom of that taper at the center of the part uh, or the, the holder. But now what I want to do is I want to define where my tool will appear when I create it in a spree. So when I load my holder, this is the reference location that will be used to place it in the spindle. But when I create the tool, I want the tool to appear here at the face of the collet nut. So we, we, need, we need to set a, uh, a work plane here to define that. So we're going to manipulate this work plane. We're going to go to manipulation. And out of our list here, depending on what you have here, we want to pick this top one, modify work plane. And when we do that, you could see the work plane becomes uh, kind of an exploded view here. What we want to do is just pick our Z axis, okay, and when we do that, our blue vector for Z, when we do that and we move our mouse around, we can see that the UVW slides along the Z axis but stays at XY zero. And then we want to just kind of zoom in and uh, make sure that as you move your mouse around, you could see that you could pick, you know, different elements here. We're going to go ahead and snap to the face, the, the center of this face here. And when we do that, we're going to come and click on the Add New Plane here from the Planes dropdown. And we're going to type in TA underscore 1. TA means Tool Adapter. And then this is position number one. Because some holders, like for lathe, you could have uh, two or four positions for tools. So you can do multiple TAs on a solid model. So this is a tool adapter position. We also want to create a holder adapter position. Because I've seen on, uh, you know, especially on lathes and stuff where somebody might have an extension, a straight shank, in here 
and then another small tool. Uh, you probably wouldn't do that with this one, but uh, typically when you save out the, the simulation solid, if you have one of these, Esprit will create the other. But just as good practice, we'll make them both. So uh, basically, that's it. Um, we're ready to go ahead and use this on the machine. We can come to File and go to Save As. And we're going to go ahead and select our holder file. And uh, we're going to come to where I wanted to save this. So this is a Parlec Milling, Cat40, ER Collet. And that's the name of the CAD model. I'm going to say save. And now we can take a look at how this will look on the machine. OK, so here we have a machine. And I'm going to zoom in here and take a look at the spindle. So we can edit an existing holder that we have defined. To do that, just double click the holder. We can select a new holder. And then I'll come over to where I had saved that. And that was, I'm still building those. So we'll go to the Parlec Cat 40, pick this holder. We see the preview. If you don't have the preview, the preview window is turned on here in Windows. Okay. And you can also turn on, uh, you know, icon view. Uh, but here we have the preview of the holder we just made. I'm going to say open. And you see that the new holder is loaded and my tool is shifted to the correct location at the face of the collet nut. And then, of course, to create a new tool, we would just right click on station one, add an adaptive item. And we can, again, pick the, uh, the holder that we just made. And then once we have that, we can right click and add a milling tool. In this case, I'll just add whatever comes up as the default. And there it is. So you can see that the, the tool will appear in the collet nut at the face of that collet nut as it should. This tool may be a little big for this particular holder, but uh, that's all you need to do to create and use a solid model from the Parlec website. Uh, let us know if you have any questions or suggestions on tutorials, and hopefully this helps you make some nicer looking and more accurate collision checking programs so that you send better code to the NC or to the shop floor.